Is MGTOW a answer to social displacement? I think MGTOW, like I said before, I think it's more personal development than anything else and risk management. And I do think that recognizing that there is a social shift that has allowed things to financially reward people for doing less. Um, pri they, they, I mean, like, the most recent thing, like I said, Newsnight, where a guy turns around and says those that have saved for their kids' inheritance should have that money taken and pumped into the NHS. There's a prime example. Socialist garbage. Um, it's relying on other people funding them. MGTOW is probably... It is a growing group, but at the same time, financially, it's also probably one of the best groups financially of paying for their way. You know, it's not just men going their own way, it's men paying their own way. Um, where a lot of the other groups are not biased that way. It's about taking. I mean, when people start asking for rights for this, rights for that, and you start looking at it and some of it's just utter nonsense, it's taking it from somebody else. And I think a lot of the MGTOW is, is take, trying to take it from people in MGTOW. So when you've got this social displacement going on, it is an answer to it. Because it is, from an individual's point of view, an ability to look after yourself. Financially, you are financially capable of managing your own money, developing your own money, and reducing your risks on people trying to create risks for you. Um, over time, things would have to adapt to it because if guys refuse to buy into this, the social network can only expand so far. Um, because at the end of the day, if you're, what they're going to do is tax more more single guys than anybody else. I mean, single guys normally get the brunt of things anyway. Um, it's, I mean, it, I mean, the guys end up doing night shifts and things like that can often be rotated in because they're single. Or the guy that's in his 40s that lives alone will end up doing a lot of the stuff that's unpopular because of being single. Um, now, I'm not saying it's a negative thing because, I, you know, honestly, I love overtime. I love taking the cash where, you know, when I'm doing contracting. I'll take the money while it's there. But at the same time, a lot of the system is geared toward that anyway. The, the money is yours because nobody else wants to do it. Um, now, there may be women out there that do the, the same amount of hours, etc., but I haven't met many. When I was out in Dubai and Qatar and whatever, uh, there was only two women that come out, and they were only there for two weeks. Uh, when I was in a man alone, I was there for four and a half months. Um, the reality is, a lot of them won't do it. So, MGTOW, for me, has a lot of major advantages over general populace in the sense that if you're a hundred percent MGTOW you can, you can go to these remote places you can earn extra money you're financially independent a lot of guys will be oil workers gas workers etc um, they are independent a lot of people are doing stuff that has been around for a long time a lot of people forget that the higher echelons of society what we're talking about is normal for them at the end of the day we're not talking about celebrities because I, celebrities I don't really understand to be honest. Um, it's it's a media circus, but I'm talking about people that control large corporate businesses and stuff at a very very high level or groups of companies. They are not easy people um, to get in a relationship with. They have lawyers that are ready to sign you up to not give you anything. That sort of stuff. That has been ongoing for centuries. At the same time, a guy that's just plodding along, going through life, is expected to get married. If it fails, we'll keep paying um, that debt forever, you know, until the grave a lot of the time. But why? I and mean, this is why I was watching a video earlier, um, I think it was MGTOW Jungle or something, where the guy had copied a, a bit of filming relating to women in the US to that to pay alimony to their husbands. And the, the funny bit in that was when she they turned around at the end, this is the lawyer says, the women are not happy, they don't think they should pay money to their ex-husbands when they have the ability to work. And that's where there was a bit of an insert of humor because obviously that's what guys argue about all the time. Is if somebody's capable of working, why, why am I paying for it? So for me, 
I do think MGTOW is going to grow. And I do think the more information is out there relating to the risks, because a lot of personal development does not cover that. It does not cover the, the risk of the relationship. They'll talk about how to get into a relationship. They'll talk how to talk to women. They'll talk about all that sort of stuff as part of development. But they will not talk about the fact that these relationships can be high risk. Financially, they are a financial drain. You need to understand that if you're in this relationship, it can be financially changing. Um, now, don't get me wrong. You're, you're asking the wrong guy if, if that's worth losing the finance. I'm happily married. You know, at the end of the day, I'm content. You know, but I do think a lot of guys out there need to analyze the risks and be aware of the risks that even when you get divorced, even if you're only married for a few years, she's still going to want money every month. She may even want money till the day you die or until she marries somebody else. All because you went into a relationship without the full knowledge. So I do think MGTOW is growing and I do think there is more to it and I do think um, society displacement um, due to this benefit class that seems to be growing is going to put more pressure on uh, males, uh, well let's just call it single people, um, and to the point that the awareness grows and a lot of people do sort of push back a lot more and don't tie themselves into these things and recognize that there's going to be problems and simply go, this ain't worth that investment. Thanks for watching.